case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1977, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Complete Auto Transit, Inc. v. Brady, which centered around the ability of states to tax out-of-state corporations engaging in interstate commerce within their borders. Complete Auto Transit, a Michigan corporation, transported cars for General Motors within Mississippi and paid the state sales taxes under protest. The company argued that the tax on the privilege of doing business within the state violated the Commerce Clause of the U.S. Constitution. The Mississippi Supreme Court, however, ruled that the tax was not discriminatory against interstate commerce and that Complete Auto Transit should pay its fair share of taxes. The company appealed the decision to the U.S. Supreme Court, contending that the tax imposed an unacceptable risk of discrimination and undue burdens. The Supreme Court held that Mississippi's tax on the business activities of a Michigan corporation did not violate the Commerce Clause of the U.S. Constitution, provided it was non-discriminatory, prevented multiple taxation, was reasonable, and properly apportioned to investments in Mississippi. This decision reinforced the principle that states can tax out-of-state corporations for doing business within their borders, as long as the tax is fair and cannot be repeated by any other state. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.